If you're missing comedy these days, you're in luck. We have some happening online. Joining us on our virtual CI stage, it's the CU Comedy Club. Jesse Tuttle, we always love having you in studio, but uh, having to do it virtually this time, that's okay. We can still have fun, right? Uh, yeah, thanks, Tim. Honestly, we should do it like this every time. I like, uh, I'm wearing shorts underneath this. I threw a blazer on over. This is way easier. We should do it like this every time. That's that's a trick of the news trade that's been around for a long time. It's, uh, you know, business on top and whatever else <laughs> you're comfortable from what, can, well, from what I can see on the screen, it looks like you're wearing jeans, but I hope they're cut off at the knees to really make it. I, I have pants on now, but I'll be at home next week, and you, you never know how that's going to go. Uh, let's talk about how this whole quarantine has impacted your business and, and comedy. Obviously, comedy clubs are down for the count, at least for now. So uh, what are the things you guys have been wrestling with over the last six weeks or so? Um, wrestling with uh, staying at home and doing nothing right now. Uh, live shows are completely shut down. Uh, of course, we can't do them right now. We're hoping sometime this summer we can do maybe some small ones and get going. But stand-up uh, comedy across the country, from what I understand, is completely shut down. It's all moved to just online. So just uh, waiting and telling jokes in the mirror right now. I make myself laugh, so it works okay. I would imagine that's really hard um, for people who are trying to do new live comedy when, when you can't have an audience because so much of the feel of a comedy show is that give and take between performer and the crowd. Oh, I, I don't, I haven't done any stand-up sets online. I don't see how anybody does it. Uh, I always thought stand-up comedy is, it's not so much action, it's reaction. If something's not working, you adjust. And uh, everything sounds like it's not working when you're just talking to your phone. Um, like right now, it's, it's so hard to, even this is strange, and I'm not even doing stand-up, just talking into a room. I mean, I do this all the time anyway, talk to myself, but... Now that I know people are watching, it seems strange. So I don't see how anybody does it. We haven't done any uh, stand-up on our phones as of yet. Well, we haven't got that script. Man, that's the news business in a in a nutshell. We just talk to screens and hope people are <laughs> reacting on the other end. But uh, talk to me about this show you started. It's it's not stand-up comedy, per, perhaps, but it's designed to be funny and new content and kind of fill the void here in the meantime. Yeah, we, we want to keep something going. So we started something called CU Comedy TV, where you can watch it on our Facebook, on YouTube, on IGTV, via Instagram. But we have new segments. We have uh, uh, different comedians from Chicago, St. Louis, Springfield, Peoria, all across the area that come on. They do little segments with us, really quick videos, six, seven minutes a piece. Uh, we try to make it as funny as we can. We have a new series coming out soon that's question and answer, like questions you might want to ask a stand-up comedian. And we have performers from all across the Midwest that work comedy clubs. They're going to be sending videos. We're going to edit them in, answering questions, answering uh, as a new series. But see you comedy TV every Tuesday. Uh, we have a lot of good responses. I think people find it maybe funnier than my stand-up, so I may have found my new name. <laughs> Is this uh, like a sketch comedy show? Is it like a, a talk show kind of thing, a little bit of both? Um, I'm basically coming after your job, Tim. It's uh, kind of a, a faux news type. Uh, thing. We have different segments we'll, we'll shoot to uh, comedians that update us on either uh, the weather or they update us on uh, coronavirus tips of living with your roommate or how to cook during coronavirus. Uh, we have somebody who does TV and movie reviews. We try to make them funny, very fast-paced, looking for new segments all the time, but that's kind of the uh, gist of it. And it's all free, yes, or is there a cost involved? Uh, it's free right now. Let's see. When we get into June or July, there might be a 1995 subscription. We're going way above Netflix prices. But, yes, <laughs> absolutely, they can watch uh, for free on, uh, like I said, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram. We have the videos up on there. But completely free content every single Tuesday and soon to be every Tuesday and Friday, new video. Nice. Well, we will connect everybody with your website, which will then, of course, give them all the uh, different ways to, to find these shows. We appreciate your time, man. Stay sane. Stay funny. And uh, we look forward to having you back here in the studio real soon. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Tim. Hey, absolutely. And uh, as promised, there's uh, Jesse there on your screen. We'll have all the details on the uh, various shows that are very, very funny at CILiving.tv.